Alluvial Gold Deposits Alluvial Gold Deposits, a detailed explanation. Alluvial gold refers to gold particles that have been transported and deposited by water in riverbeds, streams, floodplains, and valleys. Unlike gold found in hard rock deposits, alluvial gold is free from its original ore and has been naturally eroded, often over millennia, from its primary source, which is typically a gold-bearing vein or load in a rock formation. The process of erosion and deposition leads to the accumulation of gold in sedimentary environments, creating rich and accessible sources for miners. Formation Process of Alluvial Gold Deposits Erosion of Primary Sources Gold veins embedded in rocks, such as quartz or sulfides, are subjected to weathering due to natural forces like wind, rain, and temperature changes. This erosion dislodges the gold particles from the parent rock. Transport by Water Gold, being dense, is transported by water currents but tends to settle in areas where the flow slows down, such as river bends, behind boulders, or in deep pockets. Fine gold particles, gold dust, may travel farther, while larger nuggets settle more quickly. Concentration in sediments Over time, the gold accumulates in the sediments of riverbeds and floodplains, often accompanied by other heavy minerals like magnetite or hematite. These deposits can be spread over large areas, forming placer deposits. Characteristics of alluvial gold deposits Shape and size Gold found in alluvial deposits is often rounded due to prolonged abrasion during transport. Nuggets can range from small grains to sizable lumps, depending on how far they've traveled from the source. Location Commonly found in areas with a history of gold mining, especially in rivers and streams that have cut through gold-rich terrains. Popular regions include parts of Australia, Alaska, South Africa, and the Klondike in Canada. Ease of Extraction Alluvial gold is relatively easy to mine compared to hard rock mining. Traditional methods such as panning, sluicing, and dredging are effective in recovering gold from alluvial deposits. Mining Methods for Alluvial Gold Panning. Simple and manual technique where water and sediment are swirled in a shallow pan to separate gold particles. Effective for small scale prospecting. Sluicing. Uses a sluice box to capture gold from flowing water. The heavy gold particles settle into the riffles of the sluice, while lighter materials wash away. Dredging. A more modern and mechanized method using large floating dredges to extract gold from riverbeds. Suitable for larger operations. Metal detectors. Used for locating nuggets in shallower alluvial deposits. Environmental considerations. Mining alluvial gold can have environmental impacts, such as disruption of ecosystems, sedimentation in rivers, and pollution from mining chemicals. Sustainable practices, such as minimizing habitat destruction and avoiding the use of toxic substances like mercury, are critical to mitigating these effects. Economic Importance Alluvial gold mining has played a significant role in the gold rushes of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Today, it remains an important source of income in many regions, supporting artisanal and small-scale mining communities. For larger operations, alluvial gold deposits can still be a profitable venture due to their relative ease of access and extraction. By understanding the processes and characteristics of alluvial gold deposits, miners and geologists can identify promising sites and extract gold more efficiently, while ensuring the preservation of the environment. Formation Process of Alluvial Gold Deposits Alluvial gold deposits form through natural geological processes that occur over millions of years. These processes involve the erosion of primary gold sources, transportation of gold particles by water, and eventual deposition in sedimentary environments such as riverbeds, floodplains, and deltas. Below is a detailed exploration of each stage in the formation of alluvial gold deposits. 1. Erosion of primary gold sources. Gold in primary deposits, lodes or veins. Gold typically originates from primary deposits, 
such as veins or lodes, found in igneous and metamorphic rocks. These deposits form deep within the Earth's crust through hydrothermal processes, where hot, mineral-rich fluids deposit gold in cracks and fissures of rocks. Weathering and Breakdown of Host Rocks Over time, the rocks containing these primary deposits are exposed to surface conditions due to tectonic uplift or erosion. Factors such as wind, rain, temperature fluctuations, and chemical weathering weaken the host rocks. Mechanical weathering, such as freeze-thaw cycles, causes rock fragmentation, while chemical processes like oxidation further break down minerals, releasing gold particles from the surrounding material. 2. Transport by water. Movement by streams and rivers. Once released from the host rock, gold is carried away by gravity and water. Gold's high density, 19.3 g cm superscript 3, causes it to behave differently from lighter minerals during transport. It tends to settle quickly when water flow decreases but can still travel significant distances in high-energy environments. Sorting by density. As the gold moves, streams and rivers sort materials by size and density. Gold, being heavier, settles in locations where the current slows, such as river bends, meanders, behind boulders or obstacles, in natural depressions in the riverbed. Lighter sediments, like sand and silt, are carried further downstream, leaving behind concentrated gold deposits. Abrasion and rounding. During transport, gold particles collide with rocks and other sediments, causing their edges to become rounded. This abrasion creates smooth, often flattened nuggets, especially for gold that has traveled long distances. 3. Deposition and Concentration in Sediments Areas of Deposition Gold accumulates in specific sedimentary environments where the energy of the transporting water decreases significantly. These include Gravel bars formed when rivers slow down and drop their heaviest load. Floodplains, low-lying areas that capture gold during seasonal flooding. Deltas, where rivers meet still bodies of water, like lakes or oceans, and deposit their sediments. Natural traps. Features like bedrock cracks, crevices, and potholes act as natural traps for gold, capturing it as it settles. Over time, these traps can hold significant amounts of gold, especially in areas with prolonged deposition. Placer deposits. Over thousands to millions of years, these gold-rich sediments can accumulate to form placer deposits, which are the main targets for alluvial gold mining. Placer deposits are categorized into two types. Alluvial deposits, found near the source rock, with minimal transport. Alluvial deposits, formed farther downstream after extensive transport. 4. Secondary concentration by natural forces. Reworking of sediments. Over geological time, rivers and streams may change course, reworking older sediments and further concentrating the gold. For example, seasonal flooding can redistribute gold into new layers. Earthquakes and landslides may expose buried deposits, allowing water to reprocess them. Layering in deposits Gold may become layered within the sedimentary structure, with larger, denser nuggets settling in the bottom layers and finer gold particles distributed above. 5. Influence of geological and environmental factors Tectonic activity Uplift and subsidence caused by tectonic movements can create new pathways for rivers, exposing fresh gold-bearing rocks to erosion and forming new alluvial gold deposits. Climate Regions with heavy rainfall and fast-flowing rivers are more likely to form extensive alluvial gold deposits, as water plays a key role in transporting and concentrating gold. Time the formation of significant alluvial gold deposits requires millions of years, as it depends on continuous erosion, transport, and deposition processes. Characteristics of alluvial gold deposits Characteristics of alluvial gold deposits Alluvial gold deposits are unique geological formations resulting from the erosion, transportation, and deposition of gold particles. 
These deposits are valuable because they often contain free gold that can be mined using simple and cost-effective techniques. Below is a detailed exploration of the key characteristics of alluvial gold deposits, including their physical, geological, and spatial properties. 1. Physical Characteristics of Gold in Alluvial Deposits Shape and Appearance Gold in alluvial deposits is typically found in the form of nuggets, flakes, or fine dust. Nuggets are often rounded or flattened due to prolonged abrasion during transportation. This distinguishes them from angular gold found in primary deposits. Finer particles, such as gold dust, are more common in alluvial deposits located farther from the source. Purity Alluvial gold often has high purity levels because it has been naturally concentrated by water. Impurities from the original ore may have been removed during erosion and transport. The purity of alluvial gold can vary between regions, but it is generally higher than that of gold from hard rock sources. Density Gold's high density, 19.3 g cm superscript 3, plays a critical role in its behavior within alluvial environments. This property causes gold to settle quickly in water, concentrating it in areas where the flow rate decreases. 2. Geological Characteristics of Alluvial Deposits Sedimentary Nature Alluvial gold deposits are sedimentary in origin, meaning they consist of materials deposited by water over time. These deposits often occur in loose or unconsolidated sediments such as gravel, sand, silt, and clay. Layering Alluvial gold deposits are typically layered, with gold concentrated in specific strata. The heaviest and largest particles are often found in the lowest layers, close to the bedrock or in natural traps such as crevices. Finer particles may be distributed throughout upper layers of sediment. Associated minerals Other heavy minerals, such as magnetite, hematite, and garnet, are often found alongside gold in alluvial deposits. These minerals act as indicators for prospecting, as their presence suggests conditions favorable for gold concentration. Host environment Alluvial deposits are usually located in areas where water flow has slowed down enough for gold to settle, such as riverbeds and gravel bars, floodplains, natural depressions or potholes in bedrock, deltas and estuaries. 3. Spatial and geographic characteristics. Proximity to primary source. Alluvial gold deposits are often found downstream from their primary sources, which are gold-bearing loads or veins in hard rock formations. The distance from the source influences the size and shape of the gold particles. Near the source, coarse, angular nuggets. Farther downstream, rounded, smaller particles and gold dust. Distribution patterns. Gold is unevenly distributed within alluvial deposits, often concentrated in pay streaks or pay zones. These zones occur in areas with favorable conditions for gold to settle, such as inside river bends, downstream of obstacles, or in areas with slower water flow. Regional significance. Some of the world's most famous gold rushes, such as those in California, Australia, and Alaska, were based on the discovery of rich alluvial gold deposits. 4. Accessibility and Mining Potential Ease of Extraction Alluvial gold deposits are generally easier and less expensive to mine compared to hard rock deposits. Techniques like panning, sluicing, and dredging can effectively recover gold from these deposits, often requiring minimal equipment and expertise. Depth of Deposits Alluvial gold is typically found close to the surface, but some deposits, known as deep leads, may be buried under layers of sediment and require more effort to access. Scale of deposits Deposits can range from small, localized concentrations suitable for artisanal mining to extensive placer fields supporting large-scale operations. 5. Environmental and Ecological Characteristics Dynamic Nature Alluvial deposits are dynamic and may change over time due to natural processes such as river course changes, flooding, and sediment reworking. 
Impact of Sediment Composition Gold concentration is influenced by the type and composition of sediments in the deposit. Coarse gravel and sand tend to trap gold better than fine clay or silt. Environmental Sensitivity Mining alluvial gold can have significant environmental impacts, including riverbed disturbance, increased sedimentation, and ecosystem disruption. Responsible mining practices are essential to minimize these effects. 6. Economic Characteristics of Alluvial Gold Deposits High Value Per Volume Alluvial gold deposits can be economically valuable even when gold concentrations are relatively low, due to the ease of recovery. Variety of Scales These deposits support both artisanal mining operations and large-scale industrial projects. Artisanal miners often focus on small, easily accessible deposits, while industrial operations target larger placer fields using advanced methods like dredging. Historic Importance Alluvial gold deposits have historically driven major gold rushes, shaping economies and migrations in regions where they were discovered.